I got a hundred dollar check from my grandma, and my dad said I need to put it in the bank so it can grow over the years. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. We can put that check in a money market mutual fund. Then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. I wanted to talk to you guys today about CBDCs. And you might be saying, what's a CBDC? Centrally Banked Digital Currency. So if you guys haven't heard of the Great Reset, um, I'll let you guys look into that <clears throat> because uh, I ain't going to keep spoon feeding all this information. Sometimes you guys got to look stuff up on your own. So the Great Reset is basically you will own nothing and be happy about it. Let that sink in for a second. So, basically, all these billionaires and the global elites that are in charge of this, they'll own everything, and you'll own nothing, and they'll just rent it out to you. Oh, you don't own your house, but we'll rent it to you. Oh, you won't own a car, we'll rent it to you. You won't own a blender. We'll rent it to you. Not happy with this thought yet? Yeah, me neither. But, they don't care. See, they are currently in a controlled demolition of the system we have now in order to implement this new plan. They plan on making things so hard and difficult for you and your everyday life to eat, pay your bills, and do all this, that you'll be begging them for this new system. You'll be begging for it because no one in their right mind that owns anything and that works hard for the stuff that they have is going to agree Unless it's absolutely dire to giving it all up. And I certainly won't be happy about it. So, hence we come to the CBDC. They're printing our dollars into oblivion. Okay? And what they're doing is setting up the Hegelian dialectic. Oh, we create the problem, but then we're there to solve it. Okay. So, now we get to CBDCs. Now that I've laid the groundwork of the Great Reset and all that. Um, so, basically... They're going to eliminate banks. They're going to eliminate debit card accounts, credit card. That well, maybe I don't know about credit cards, but um, but cash, cash will. Hey, I mean, you can have it all you want, but it won't be worth nothing. Um, so they're gonna eliminate all this stuff and give you this currency, which. It'll be programmable, guys. That's this. This has already been implemented in China, and you see what they got going on over there. Okay, and what else has been implemented in China that goes hand in hand with this is their social credit score. Okay, so what a social credit score is, guys, is basically. They have set standards, almost like Demolition Man. If you've never seen Demolition Man, it's an awesome movie. It's got uh, Stallone and uh, Wesley Snipes and uh, Sandra Bullock. It's it's pretty good. Uh, actually, Rob Schneider even puts a little cameo in there, and nobody even notices. But um, but yeah. So uh, this stuff will be programmable, and if you do something they don't like, they can just go click. 
and either take money out of your account or shut you down completely. So, oh, what's this, Mr. Thunderdome? You, uh, you drove too many miles this month. You, uh, you, you've reached your uh, carbon credit limit. Now, your account is programmed to where you can't buy any more gas. Or, oh, Mr. Thunderdome, we, uh, we see that you've been eating a lot of meat this month. Yeah, uh, cow farts, yeah, that's no good. We're, uh, we're, we're limiting your meat for the month. So next month you can, you can get some meat, but for the rest of this month you're, you're done. Um, oh, Mr. Thunderdome, uh, you bought couple cases of beer well beer bad alcohol no good so we uh, we're, we're not letting you go through with that transaction does any of this shit sound like fun doesn't to me um, and it's totally different than crypto crypto is a whole nother animal uh, I'm not going to go into that today, but the crux of this is this, guys. They want to control everything. They want to be able to track everything you buy and be able to tax everything you buy. They want to be able to tax when you go to a yard sale and buy, I don't know, clothes for the kids or whatever. They want to be able to find out what that transaction was and tax it. They want to be able to log everything you purchase and profile you with it and eventually control you with it. They're setting up for the mark of the beast, guys. They really are. You won't be able to buy, sell, or trade without their say-so. Now how you get out of this? Crypto might be one way to go. Another way to go is barter. The barter system is the thing that they hate the most. Well, oh, I'll trade you uh, a couple bale of hay for some chickens. Or I'll trade you uh, sheep for a couple gallons of gas. That's how we get out of this, guys. You need to make yourself independent of all of their systems. The medical system, the pharmaceutical system, the having to go to the grocery store and rely on that system. You need to have it on hand or be producing it. Or you're going to have to bend over and say, ah, yeah, but yeah, that's something you guys should be aware of and should be actively making an attempt to do something about it. Scary stuff, guys. And if you're not setting yourself away from that you're gonna be a part of it all right guys like share subscribe if you got something out of this you got any questions ask me uh, but do some research into this stuff because that's <laughs> that's that appears to be what's coming down the pipe and all of the, the all of those who are in the know are talking about it and all of those who 
have any sort of pull or power or talking about it as well. Alright guys, talk to you later.